from an educational economic benefit and educational and economic standpoint that SpaceX uh, will bring to this region um, is something that many of us never dreamed of. And so for that, uh, I personally want to thank uh, Elon Musk uh, for uh, the tremendous potential that you saw in our region and for uh, your great vision in all things of science. What was once the furthest outpost on the old frontier of the West will be the furthest outpost post on the new frontier of science and space. Today, thanks to the efforts of all of you who are here, to the community that we represent, South Texas will be the new frontier of space and science. There also needs to be a commercial uh, orbital spaceport, just as we have uh, commercial air traffic. You know, it's a very sort of similar thing to, to, to aircraft in that sense. Um, and we looked around for, uh, uh, we looked all through, through the country um, and, and looked at all the possibilities. Um, and I really have to say that we thought this was the, the best place to, to put it. So, yeah. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's what we're doing. This is just uh, the, the sort of um, you know, initial groundbreaking. Uh, it's going to take uh, several years to build out a spaceport because this, this is going to be quite a, a significant uh, building endeavor. Um, in, the, in, in, what's, in, in what's near term for SpaceX, which is, I guess, sort of in the three to four year time frame, uh, we expect to spend you know, on the order of about $100 million. But in the long term, if you go out, say, 10, 20 years, it's probably in the several hundred million dollar range um, because we're going to keep expanding the facility. There will be other companies that also locate here to support uh, SpaceX because you end up creating a, an ecosystem of companies. Um, you know, once, once you've got sort of the anchor tenant down, other companies move in to support the, the anchor tenant, in, in this case, uh, the, the launch uh, uh, of, of commercial satellites. The, the long term goal is to create the technology necessary to. Uh, uh, take humanity beyond Earth, to take humanity to Mars, and establish a base on Mars. Uh, so it, it could very well be that the, the first person that departs for another planet could, could depart from this location. So. Um, so yeah, so I'm super excited and, and uh, uh, can't wait to, to start building this, uh, this project. Uh. Uh, your legacy for South Texas will never be forgotten. Um. Uh, which, which you and the state legislature uh, ha have done along with our municipal and county uh, counterparts uh, to bring a newly merged University of South Texas and a new medical school to South Texas is something that you will always be remembered for. And I thank you for that. It's a sign behind me that says that the pavement ends in a thousand feet. But the future of South Texas takes off right behind me. And that's what today is really all about. When you think about this project and what it means for the state of Texas and for the nation and frankly for the world, then we start to see just how important Texas and the Rio Grande Valley is in that makeup. What's going on here today is just building upon the pioneer spirit. You, you mentioned the, uh, the, the, this was the frontier at one time and it's the frontier again. And the pioneer heritage of this state and, and our tradition of thinking bigger, uh, dreaming bolder, daring to do the impossible. Elon, the impossible is after all just something a Texan hadn't tried to do yet. That's how we define impossible. Francisco Cigarroa is here representing the University of Texas system. And the fertile minds that reside in that system and the gift that the state of Texas is making to this region with that university and with the medical school 
uh, Eddie and Renee, that we both worked together to create. The commitment to this area of the state, I think, is unparalleled in the history of this state because we've recognized together the potential of the people. Elon, what you have done with your decision, and we thank you greatly. We thank you for having the vision to see that this is where you needed to be, you wanted to be. This is just another one of those signals to the rest of the world that this is a state that is making a difference and making a difference in a powerful way. Francisco, I will just go ahead and make the announcement today that uh, in partnership with the great University of Texas in Brownsville, the Emerging Technology Fund will invest $4.4 million in the development of new technologies to be used at this spaceport and beyond. So when, when you take the matching funds that SpaceX, University of Texas System, the Greater Brownsville Innovation Corporation, more than $23 million will go to this project and will be part of the soon-to-be UT Rio Grande Valley. There is some, there is some young student in the sixth grade in an elementary school who never in his or her life thought that they would be part of the space program. But because of the vision of these men and women in this audience, they have the potential not just to change their lives, but to change the world that they live in.